novella. <laughs> don't ever trust me ever again. I don't ever trust me ever again. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Emily and today is Wednesday, February 14th and we are starting a brand new writing vlog. Because we have, we got stuff to do for the rest of this month. Boy, do we have stuff to do. So, we're halfway through the month. I just finished wrapping up the vlog before this. I've been chipping away at the goals I need to do this month. A lot of this stuff is not easily accomplished. So, in this vlog, we got a couple more things we gotta do. We gotta continue setting up the comic Kickstarter page that I have started. The, uh, pre-order link is down in the bottom, or the pre-save link is down in the description. I don't know. You know what I mean, the little thing where it will notify you when the Kickstarter is actually live. We got that set up, but I need to continue with the campaign page. We are going to set up In Dying Starlight 1 at a bare minimum, format the book and set it up on Ingram Spark. We are going to continue drafting the fantasy romance. I finally, finally started drafting it again. Not within like the editing part, but actually started part three. I had like a hundred words of part three. so continued on with starting part three. I'm still really, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get so much done on this comic. So the end of this month is the last of the 100 day comic challenge that I'm doing. I don't know if I'm gonna get there. I got 10 pages left to do. I'd also like to work on the Dying Starlight covers more than just, just the formatting, but we'll see about that. The comic is the main important thing. So we're gonna try to chip away at the fantasy romance a little bit and mostly do the comic. Where am I? I feel like I've been talking about all the different random things I'm doing and not actually about the writing at all. There's not a lot to say yet because I just got started going back into this story, but basically I know where part three needs to go. I know like a bunch of the beats that need to happen. Do I know like the specifics of how they're gonna work or how they're all gonna tie together? No. And I almost sat down and tried to outline it but it's kind of one of those things, which happens to me a lot, which is I just, I have to write it and piece it together as I go. I don't really think I can figure it out just by trying to outline it or just by like staring at a wall until I figure it out. You know, I'm I'm in the last part of the book, so I don't, I don't really know what I can say that isn't just massive spoilers. So that was very vague, but I think that's all we got. Other than that, this book has a uh, dance scene in it. We love those. It is Friday, February 16th. I wrote 1200 words yesterday, which is that like a huge word count compared to things I've done before now? Is it the most I've drafted in like two months? Yeah. Finally finished the editing. Finally got back to drafting. I have on my to-do list for a little while just to write a hundred words a day because when I am struggling with the process or I haven't written in a long time, that is what I do. I make myself write just a hundred words a day because a hundred words is like nothing. Even if it is pure crap, it doesn't matter because it's just a hundred words. Starting is the hardest part, so just giving yourself like the bare minimum deadline is really helpful. I got 1200 words yesterday. I love this book so much. I've written 700 this morning. I actually interrupted writing sprints in order to do this. This book, this book is 90,600 words right now. Novella. <laughs> Don't ever trust me ever again. I don't ever trust me ever again. This is one of those books where, yeah, I technically could have written it as a novella, but it would have been more like a little fable type thing than an actual personally written book. I don't I don't know how to describe it to you. Like the difference between a fairy tale and like a first person point of view blank novel. You know, like you can do it in a shorter amount of words, but it's totally different if you do it longer and I like it this way. I like it longer. So we're we're in part three, but we're only the first chapter of part three. I think a little bit of this chapter might be filler. I might end up deleting some of it. Not sure yet. I'm sort of working my way into how do I write the last third of this. I'm out of copy. Hit 90,000 words. That feels like a big deal. I don't know if it is. Maybe we'll hit 100,000 in this vlog. But I think those are all the updates. Oh, one more thing. I bit the bullet and just decided to apply for a BookBub ad for Under the Earth. I think you have like a less than 20% chance of getting one. And I think it's even lower if your books in Kindle Unlimited. We're gonna see how that goes. I applied for the 99 cent ad, not the free ad. We're gonna see what they say though. They will, they will give you advice. I think that's the rest of the updates. Probably. You'll hear about them later. Go aside, huh? Yeah. Side. It rained, huh? Yes, it rained. 
Huh? I hear rushing water. Oh, the plants are very full. My goodness. What's up, Rosie? Huh? Let's go see all the water. Look at all the water everywhere. My goodness. Out of the ground right there. And down into the lawn. How's it going, Rosie girl? Huh? Rosie girl. Ah, uh, yes, the absolute pool of water. <laughs> What's up, Rosie? What is all this? <gasps> Rosie. Rosie. Huh? What's all this? Huh? Yeah. Rosie. What are you doing to the water? <laughs> Rosie, come here. Come here. What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> Wednesday, February 21st. Yesterday I wrote 200 words. Yesterday I did nothing. Day before that, 500 words. Day before that, 1200 words. Day before that, 200 words. I'm writing part three of this book, right? Part three is the climax of the book. Obviously not the entirety of part three, but I am now getting to the point where all the threads that I've been dropping in for over 90,000 words, I now have to like bring them together in a coherent fashion. And I know like vaguely where they need to go, but not exactly where they need to go. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. I think if you've written a book before, you know what I'm talking about, especially if you've written a long book. Why am I writing a long book? I absolutely love this book though. I know I keep saying that, but like, I, it, it's hard to describe how this writing this book is like, it's so easy. You know, even when I don't want to write it, that 200 words I wrote yesterday was not like pulling teeth or anything. I just couldn't think of where to go next. It's just such a fun, easy, like sugary book to write. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, I don't know. I just, I love it. We are, we're, we're getting into the, the day that the climax is going to happen for the book. There's some stuff that's gonna happen first, but wait, we're up, we're getting there. Very close. It's still gonna be quite a few words. You know, I'm not, I'm not like 10,000 words away. I think I'm like 30,000 words away, but still, we're finally, we're more tension, I guess. Don't mind me. I, it's not like I'm a writer or anything. Who needs to know how to speak? words correctly. What else am I updating you on? I don't know. I'm almost done reformatting um, the first in Dying Starlight book. I really need to hustle on that. I didn't do the comic yesterday either because I did it for one, two, three, five days in a row before that, which is a lot for me. I have not done five days in a row at any point previously. I don't think I have anything else to report. It's Friday, February 23rd. I've not done much writing because the comic is kicking my ass. Page 21, I decided to be an idiot and it's like 10 panels. It's the equivalent of about 10 panels. I don't know why I decided to do that, but here we are. So I'm still on page 21, but luckily 22 through 25, they seem really chill. I think they're gonna be really easy. The last two days I did 100 words on fantasy romance. 100 words yesterday, 100 words the day before. I'm doing a publishing thing for In Dying Starlight. If it goes anywhere, I'll let you guys know. If it doesn't, it's just kind of one of those things you do. I'm gonna work on the fancy romance a little, but I really need to just work on the comic. I need to absolutely get page 21 done today. So help me, I must. I got I have 17 minutes on my camera and two vlog clips to do. Okay, it's Monday, February 26th. I have nothing really to report in this vlog other than that I finished the comic, <laughs> mostly. You know, I finished all the artwork for it. I need to go back and tweak some stuff and I need to put the text in. But what I wanted to do for the 100 day challenge, I did it. And it's not even 100 days yet. Other than that, I, I don't think I have anything to report because I didn't write anything for the last two days. I don't know what else was on my to-do list that I really was gonna tell you guys about. Probably nothing. I have a bunch of, it is a new week. I will tell you, I got a bunch of In Dying Starlight stuff to do this week, and especially I'm gonna reformat books one and two because I'm like pitching them to a, uh, somebody about something, not telling you yet. I'm going to do some backer kit stuff for the comic Kickstarter because they have a cool um, launch feature that helps you get more followers before you've started. Gotta do the typesetting on the comic and like tweak some stuff, work on the comic cover, and just like a few other things. 
Got to get back to the fantasy romance. I don't think I'll do the 100k or get to the 100k point in the book like I wanted before the end of the month because we got one, two, three, four, four days left of the month and I have a lot of other stuff to do. We'll just keep this vlog going until I get to that. It's Friday, March 1st. I have not written very much. Let me just tell you, I, I wrote today. I've written like 600 words today. What have I written? No, oh, 800 words today. But other than that, I wrote 100 words three days ago. Basically, I'm in the same spot, which is just I kind of have to muscle through this transition chapter that absolutely has to happen, but I don't know exactly how everything's going to come together. So it's just going to be slow, but I do have, I did my new goals for the month, and I have written down to finish this book this month. Do I think that'll necessarily happen? I have no idea. Probably not. We're just going to keep this vlog going until I hit 100,000 words on it. We're at 94,000 right now. I have too many ideas. Part of the reason I'm like not focused on this book is my brain, when I'm not actively writing it, is just on a different project. On a new project that I didn't have in my head four days ago. If it's not one thing or the other, you know, it's I'm thinking about Project Frost, which is like the other fantasy romance series, or I'm thinking about Thistle, or I'm thinking about Project Ian, which I don't know if you guys, I've mentioned once or twice, you guys don't really know what it is. It's like my oldest series that I just like to think about. And that's normal. I think about that one every day. But then I'm thinking about like this other idea that I have had off and on for a couple years and going, I could write that. My brain does not want to go back to trying to figure out how to interweave everything in part three when I could be just thinking about the random plot idea I'm having that doesn't have any plot holes or things to figure out yet because you're just daydreaming. I have so many ideas. I'm gonna have to combine stuff. I have at least 10 series I could just pick up right now. Either series or standalones that I could just start right now. I, I gotta start like combining the cool ideas I get. I'm never gonna write all this stuff and I want to write all this stuff, but I pretty much come to the conclusion that I'm not the type of person who can write like 10 books a year. Can I technically type that quickly? Yes. Can I plot within my head that quickly? And you say, Emily, we outline it first. No, I can't outline that quickly either. Outlining is still just plotting it. I can't plot that quickly if I'm trying to bullet point it, and I can't plot that quickly if I'm pantsing it. I just, I swear, I need to get up to like publishing like two books a year. I haven't even, you know? I feel like In Dying Starlight has like tricked me into this sense of I've published a lot of books, which I mean, technically, yeah, there's 12 of them, but they're novellas. It's about 400,000 words, which is like maybe three full length novels you know, three or four full-length novels. So that's a lot, don't get me wrong. But I remember saying sometime last year, I gotta put out like, I gotta get up to a point where I put out like one to three books a year or I will never write all the things that I want to write. And I still, <laughs> Under the Earth is still the only novel I've published. And that came out in 22. Yeah. Even though, I mean, I haven't even been working on the fantasy romance for a year yet. It's been, I know I started drafting it in June. Point is, I still haven't gotten to the point where I'm even putting out like one full length novel a year. Although maybe I will now that I'm not doing In Dying Starlight and the novellas are not the same thing as novels. But I would like to do more than that without sacrificing any of the quality is my point. My point is the entire past couple of minutes I've been talking. You get the picture, I'm... I'm working, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting there slowly. I wrote like 7,000 words last month. I haven't even written 10K for the year yet. Let's just, let's just pretend like the star of this year hasn't sucked. <laughs> We're getting there. I love this book. I just, I gotta get it all in the right place. Quick update. It's Monday, March 4th. I really haven't written anything. We're, we're a little just just a little in the struggle bus. I don't think the Kickstarter is helping. You know, I got a bunch of stuff to do, so it's hard to go. Yeah, let's uh, spend a couple hours trying to write, and then if I don't, if I only spend like half an hour, I can't write anything. It's not writer's block. It's just ugh. so we'll get over it. It's fine. But that's the update. 
It is Wednesday, March 6th, and it's overcast and rainy again. What's new? So I ended up writing, shaking the camera. I ended up shaking the camera. Stop, stop shaking. I ended up writing 2,500 words on the fantasy romance on Monday, which was the most I have written in a day this year. I might have already said that, but don't mind me. Yesterday I wrote 200 words. Today I will write something. I'm, I'm doing so much Kickstarter stuff. Uh, I might actually have to move the campaign into next week for reasons that I will talk about. Well, I'll just tell you. Um, there were some delays with making the prototype on the plushie, so this vlog might actually go out before the Kickstarter. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to get everything done for the Kickstarter today. Today. Not today. This week. With the plan of launching it on the 12th in one, two, three, four, six days. But um, the prototype is probably going to take five to seven days to make and a couple days to ship to me. And Friday, Saturday, Sunday is a bad time to launch. So I'll probably launch on Tuesday the 19th. That's where we're at with Dying Starlight. I still have covers 9, 10, 11, and 12 to do. I gotta reformat all of them. And as much as I like formatting stuff, it reformatting 12 books plus three box sets is a lot. Um, I realize I'm probably not going to uh, finish the fantasy romance this month. I'm still gonna give it a shot because I really don't know if part three is going to be as long as part one and part two were. Part one was, what, 40 something thousand words? Yeah, 43,000 words. Part two was 42,000 words. Uh, right now I'm 8,000 words into part three. We're at 96,700 words. We're getting, we're getting there. It doesn't seem like that much when I put it into perspective of just another 30,000 words. You know, 30,000 words is kind of like what I set for an easy Camp NaNoWriMo goal. Not right now, because I am so out of practice and <laughs> I'm doing so many other things. So I don't think I'm going to get another 30,000 words this month, but we're pretty close to the end. I'm guessing another 20 to 30,000 words. She says with some amount of trepidation now, if it, <laughs> watch it be like 50 or 60,000 more now, you know? There are quite a lot of things that have to happen now that I'm thinking about it. And I do have this this book booked for, this book booked for a spot in December with my editor, but that is actually too late for what I want. That's just the only thing she had open. So I'm on the waiting list for something in late summer or fall. Worst case scenario is, I need to run this Kickstarter in the fall because the winter is a bad time to do it and next spring is too late because I want to actually publish it next spring. So I might do, I like to have the book all done before I do the Kickstarter, but there's a ton of authors who don't even do that. I might do what a lot of authors do and just make the timeline incredibly clear and run the Kickstarter in fall. At the very worst, the book goes to Natalia in the winter and I can be formatting it and illustrating, doing extra illustrations inside. Early part of next year, or so like l middle of the winter to the end of winter to the beginning of spring, I can get all the fulfillment sent out because I am going to go with the fulfillment company for this, I think, and their shipping is going to take so much faster than my shipping. So I think, and then I can publish it in like early summer of next year. I'm, I'm assuming that is the, that is the plan. It feels so weird to like talk about things a year ahead of time because I won't be actually publishing this book on Amazon for like at least a year from now, March or April or May. But when you break it down like that, it's not as much time as you think it is. Being very hopeful that this Kickstarter will be as successful as I think it will be. And I think it will be. So I'm gonna stop talking. I've got a lot of Kickstarter stuff to do. I'm gonna actually update the Kickstarter vlog now. It is Friday, March 8th. Yesterday, I got to 100,000 words on the fantasy romance. I'm trying to be like cheerful right now, but I'm annoyed with about eight separate things. I'm annoyed with PayPal, one of my manufacturers for something, and uh, a couple other things. So I'm like, mm. I swear, like running any sort of business, even as like tiny of a business as being an author is, is just, consumed with waiting for things that you shouldn't have to wait for and emailing people about things you shouldn't have to email them about. I'm gonna murder PayPal. Um, okay. But yesterday I got to 100,000 words and I was very happy about it then. <laughs> I am at 100,164 words. That is, has brought me up to chapter 26 of this book. Actually, this chapter is getting a little long. I should wrap it up. So, Took me a week longer than I thought it was going to. On, was it Tuesday, I think? Let me, let me check. Let me check what I'm doing. Yeah, on Tuesday, I, Tuesday? No, not Tuesday. What? It's Friday. 
It's Friday, not Wednesday. The 6th, which was Wednesday, I wrote 1300 words, but before I did that, I spent about 400 words worth bullet pointing where I need to go in the rest of the story because I was trying to figure out the logistics of where all the characters need to be for a maximum uh, emotional damage, I don't know, <laughs> impact, maximum emotional impact. And so there's like a dozen or two bullet points. And so I got that worked out and I think something about it seems like a little off, but I think that's just, I haven't written it yet. And if there is something a little off, I'm not gonna figure it out until I write it. Writing the last third of books is difficult because everything has to come together. Will I finish this this month? I have no idea, but we'll just start a new vlog and we'll find out. As far as the Kickstarter goes, I'm in a similar position to where I was when I last updated you a couple days ago. I don't know when, time is an illusion. Uh, most all of it's done except some graphics, the campaign video, and getting the plushy prototype. I finally got all the payment worked out on that. I don't like the waiting guy. I don't. It's this horrible midsection of I'm so close to being done with it, but I can't launch it and see if it's going to flop or not. So I'm in this headspace of like, what if it fails? You know, logically, do I think it's going to? No. But what if it does? You never know. So I'm... <laughs> Everything's fine. It makes me anxious having so many uh, pieces of the puzzle out of my control. I'm not directly in control a lot of a lot of these things, a little bit more so than usual. So it's just like a lot, it's just so many things are not in my control here, but there are a few things in my control. Like I can make the rest of the graphics, I can make the campaign video, and I can continue just working on the typesetting on the comic. I did some of that yesterday. Everything is fine, you know? <laughs> just wrap this vlog up. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, giving it a thumbs up and a subscribe really helps out my channel. You can get my books, which are over there because I didn't prepare for this vlog clip. You can grab Under the Earth Over the Sky. It's now in Kindle Unlimited. And of course, my brand new novella, The Sea at the End of Everything and Dying Starlight is also on Kindle Unlimited. This vlog will probably go up before the Kickstarter. Um, if it does, you can pre-save the upcoming project link. I got over 130 people who pre-saved it. So thank you. That gives me uh, like slight comfort that this won't... Um, bomb completely. <laughs> if it goes up after the Kickstarter, well, then it's live. Either way, the link is in the description. I must start a new vlog for probably until I finish the end of this book, or I, I don't know, because I have no idea how long it's going to take me. So, ah, okay. See y'all in the next video. <laughs> Bye!